Demo Conquering Mega Eagle. Okay, folks. Uh, Mighty Crane build. I suppose this is part two. The, uh, the the frame of the structure, the frame of the crane. Um, alas, I uh, anticipated getting rained on, which I, I did during the construction of this crane, and also thought it would be handy to have a you know. A, a more robust camera for hole digging shenanigans and uh, and the crane building. You know, anything else I do outside because this this camera right here uh, doesn't like getting wet. So I got this. Um, uh, it's a it's meant to be waterproof camera. Um, I was concerned that you know it might not be the best quality, so I did a little test run with it. Seemed okay, uh, but I, I was close to the camera and. Um, you know, basically it doesn't autofocus. There is a button on the side you can you can dial it in. I didn't realise when I was filming the crane build, so um, we'll just cut straight to the ending um, because all of the build footage is absolute rubbish. I'll put a little bit in here so you can see how bad it is. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll I'll probably not use this again. I mean, it, it, if I if I, if I if I can do something where it's either close or far away and uh, nothing in between or you know not not a combination of the two then you know and I don't need the sound then this this I might use it again but otherwise um, yeah I'll, I'll uh, stick to taking my nice camera outside I suppose um, yeah I hope you enjoyed the crane it wasn't you know it's just cutting and grinding anyway out of all the videos I've done where you didn't need to really see the detail this is this is the one so it's no no great loss uh, just cut up a load of I-beam that I got off eBay and welded it together and here you go, the crane frame. Next up, pulleys and then a winch drum and then the winch itself, okay? <laughs> All right.
Okay, folks. So that bit of chain there, don't pay attention to that. That's just uh, left over from when I was trying to get the whole thing together. Um, this has worked quite nicely. This has worked quite nicely. It's very, uh, very manoeuvrable. A little bit on the far side. Um, you know, ideally I could do with uh, stepping up the size of the, the pulley on the gearbox. That'll go there and finding a knobbly tyre for this thing. Um, it doesn't help at the minute that I haven't got any of the winch gear on. That'll put a bit more weight over the back. Um, I expect you all wondering, like, you know, with that much poking out over the front, with no wheels on the front, it's going to tip up, but it's only going to use this front four foot of boom uh, with light loads, yeah? Um, with a muck bucket. And then when I'm picking up the... Uh, the concrete pipes, um, the idea is to get right over the top of it uh, so that the weight is actually taken behind these wheels so that way it shouldn't tip and then those pipes I've only got to winch them up um, like sort of six inches or so and I might even put a strap to the back so I can pull all the weight over the drive tire so that should make it a lot better as far as traction is concerned. Um, I mean it is my my hope that I can get some crushed concrete down on the work area before I get my pipe delivered but um, I kind of, just, kind of just want to get this pipe delivered as soon as possible and get on with it to be honest um, either way <laughs> well, I've still got to make the winch for this but yeah it just works so nice I love these old Honda engines the um, the originals they just seem to be just quieter and happier than even the modern Hondas let alone the, the crappy Chinese copies um, I'll put this together with a stick welder. That's why I'm not showing you a close-up of any of the welds. <laughs> no, they're all right. They're strong enough. They're just a bit messy. Um, uh, hopefully, some of this footage has turned out all right because I used a, a new um, rugged camera. But I had a few problems with it along the way, so I know I've, I've definitely missed a few bits. But um, what? Hopefully, there'll be there'll be enough there for me to make a video that makes sense. <laughs> I'm quite happy with this. It's, it's ridiculous. That normally means I've done a good job, yeah? Okay, and you know, this, this engine at the back, it spins a full 100, 360, you know, whatever you want, or 470, or 1, or 20, you know, whatever number of degrees you want, this engine will spin, yeah? <laughs> so it sort of alleviates the need for a reverse gear, isn't it? Like, I know I probably didn't make much sense when I was trying to explain that um, when I was converting the power barrel in the first place, but yeah, that's that's what's going on there. Um, there's a bit of flex there. I mean, it's where where I said I was expecting a bit of flex with that plate there. So I've got really, I've just got to weld a, weld a strap on from up here across there and down to the gearbox, and that'll that'll stiffen it all up, I think. Um, a slightly bigger drive pulley. Uh, would you believe it? Uh, that looks like it's keyed as well. That'd be a, an opportunity to try out my new um, what's the name? My new hand shaper, wouldn't it? Cutting a keyway for that. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Hey? <laughs> okay. I might have a go at that then. Um, well, I don't. Know, you know, this is probably all right to be honest. Um, I'll probably just leave it. This tire's going flat, so I need to get it back towards the. Uh, was the shed quickly. I think I need to put a tube in this one as well. It's a bit annoying because I bought two 10 inch two ten inch tubes, put a tube in one of these, the other one's fine, like Christ knows how, because they've been stood for you know a very long time. Um, but I'll have to buy a 13 inch for this one. I diplomat, these are very old tires. <laughs> very old tires, you know, to give you an idea of how old they are. Um, one of them's a genuine bridge by corporation remote. And uh, that diplomat, um, I think that was made in England as well. You know, we still make tyres here occasionally for expensive cars and Formula One cars and that, but we don't make cheap tyres. But these are these are cheap tyres, so they've probably been kicking around quite a long time. Yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the second part of the Mighty Crane build, guys. And you know, it's just going to get more interesting from here on out. Uh, I've got my fabricated sheet steel pulleys, they're nearly, they're nearly complete, that'll be the next video and after that it will be a two stroke petrol winch, yeah, which is going to be epic. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, take it easy guys, I'll see you later, bye bye.